What's up, bud? It's Rob. This is Apparel Success. And in this video here, what I want to talk to you about is dealing with anxiety and depression on your journey to becoming an entrepreneur. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because I know that feeling of taking your first steps to becoming an entrepreneur and dealing with that vibe that you start to get from your family or that that feeling that you start to get from your friends where they start to think that you're sort of being weird or that you're going down some different path in life that's not good for you. I wanna to talk to you about how to deal with this and other forms of anxiety and depression of being an entrepreneur that I think will really just sort of ground you and make you feel more confident in the direction that you've chosen and really just get you even more committed than you already are. Apparel Success is sponsored by my buds over at Design Crowd. And if you need designs made for your clothing brand, then I seriously recommend that you give them a shot for the designs of your clothing brand. You post a project on Design Crowd, amazing designers from all around the world will compete for your project. You choose the winner, then you get that design. Here's a design that I had made through Design Crowd for my own clothing brand that's selling like fire right now. It's literally the best selling hoodie on my website. If you're interested, head over to designcrowd.com forward slash apparel to learn about the special offer that I have for you where you can save up to $100 or simply use the discount code apparel when you post a project on Design Crowd. So everybody who has really expressed an interest in going down sort of the unbeaten path and going with an option in their life that is a little bit outside the norm where you're picking a path that, you know, none of your family members have gone down before. None of your friends are going down and it seems really unique and different to them. You may have experienced that feeling that I think every single entrepreneur knows very well where you almost feel like an outsider and it almost feels like you're being alienated from, you know, the rest of society or the rest of your friends or the rest of your family in terms of what normal is. And when you show up at events, you show up to like, say, a family event or, you know, an event with your friends, you almost feel this like awkward insecurity around expressing what it is that you do or what it is that you're trying to do. And that for long enough, when you start to experience that long enough and you don't have, you know, the, the confidence in yourself to really, you know, just own what it is that you're doing, it can really eat at you and start to make you feel, you know, sort of not included and just almost like an outsider. And I really wanted to touch on that here and just how you can really deal with that and really get your own mindset to a place where you're more committed down your path and where instead of feeling that sort of insecurity, that awkwardness around your friends and your family, you're actually inspiring them to make them feel like they should have done what you're doing. And that's really a big flip that will definitely happen if you do start to get some results with the path that you're going down is at first, you know, everybody's kind of laughing at you or thinking that you're kind of weird or whatever. And then when you start to, you know, get, get a lot of results or you start to make more money than them, you start to become more successful um, than just sort of, you know, dabbling in it. People start to think, oh man, why didn't I do this? You know, I'm jealous. How can I learn from what you've done? And you're really going to end up flipping that. This confidence that you need to have is completely on you to cultivate. And the reason for that is because you're the one who's decided to become the entrepreneur. And so it's on us who have decided to do this to take on the responsibility of owning the path that we're on and really, you know, developing that confidence ourselves. And so even though, you know, it sucks to have friends and family sort of having their impressions put on you and their sort of judgment and all that stuff, they're free to do that, right? As much as it may not feel good or whatever, they're completely free to do that. And it's on us when we decide to become entrepreneurs to own it, you know, take on that responsibility and really cultivate that confidence of owning the path that we're on and becoming successful. And whether we're successful or not is completely on us as the entrepreneurs and there's really no one else to blame at the end of the day. One of the ways out of this anxiety and depression that you're feeling is to voluntarily accept the responsibility. And when you do this, what's gonna end up happening is instead of viewing the pressure from your friends and family as this bad thing that's happening to you, you're gonna to start to view it as a challenge for you to overcome. And when you do this, you know this is really gonna force you to take on mindsets that are truly your own and that aren't just you know pinging off of other people and the group think that's out there in your current environment. When you start to think for yourself, you're gonna to start to take on attitudes like the following. When you start to take on the attitude that, you know, 
if you if you stripped away all of your friends and family right now and you just looked at where you were living and what you have for the most part you know i can understand that a lot of you may be in really bad situations but for the most part you know we're all living in sheltered environments with food to eat and is there really much more that we really need to feel complete and to feel like you know we've made it you don't necessarily need that you know extravagant success in order to feel complete and whole and happy in the work that you're doing and really the reason why most of us end up feeling you know just down and sad and depressed is usually because we're comparing ourselves to other people but if you can just really sort of focus on what you have and how you know living frugally really isn't that bad of an idea and actually that minimalistic lifestyle of sort of saving your money and working on your business and things can actually be extremely exciting and just fulfilling that when you stop comparing yourself to other people around you you'll really start to feel that sense of fulfillment again and really it's that pressure from other people and that comparison with other people and wanting to appear cool in front of them that ends up sort of dragging you down into this depression and feeling like you haven't made it or that you're on the wrong path or that you know you need to change your your whole lifestyle up and honestly this is probably the most fundamentally different mindset that i've taken on from you know the people that are sort of living that traditional nine to five lifestyle is viewing everything regardless of whether you succeed or fail as an experience for you to grow and learn from right most of the people who are just working their regular jobs they're not taking any risks they never experience any sort of catastrophes and these catastrophes as bad as you may view them you know a failure in business or something like that are actually you know the stepping stones to becoming successful and that sounds very cliche, but it's actually true, right? All the mistakes that I've made, all the risks that I've taken are the have cultivated parts of my personality that I'm most proud of. And so when you take those risks, you know, and you actually try and start a business, whether you succeed or whether you fail, it's really going to build inside of you more knowledge. And you're basically just ingesting new information you're taking in new experiences and you're really gaining wisdom that you couldn't otherwise gain unless you took those risks made those mistakes had those failures happen and had those experiences and this includes any anxiety or depression that you're going through in any form because going through that and having to overcome it and you know beat it is what's going to develop your character and strengthen you into you know a new person you're really evolving through going through that horrible time. And basically, you know, it's really rare to run into people who are really successful or, you know, have, I don't know, just achieved a lot in life who didn't have a really big pain point at first that they hit where they said, screw it, you know, I'm doing this. And this is something that I'm gonna actually do and accomplish. And usually you need to reach that rock bottom point in your life or reach that really hard point in your life that really just supercharges you and it allows you to have that fuel to really just start, you know, hammering out discipline and doing the things that you know you should be doing because you get so frustrated with your current position in life. And I know that, you know, you don't necessarily want to be riding life in this sort of yin yang thing where it's like the extremes of both ends. You don't necessarily want to be doing that. But if you're going through that pain, there's a beautiful opportunity there to channel it and see the the challenge in all in overcoming that and see just how powerful you'll become if you can show the wherewithal and have the willpower to overcome it. And you know, I really wanna finish out this video by just sort of empathizing with you and recognizing the journey that you're on and the difficulty of dealing with sort of that struggle of deciding to go down a new path in life. And I wanna really just normalize it for you and make you feel like this is something that a lot of entrepreneurs experience and so I don't want you to feel alone or like you're doing something bad because this is just really one part of the journey to becoming a successful entrepreneur that you are going to have to, you know, defeat and overcome. And, you know, I just really wanted to connect with you on that level and let you know that that's something that I went through. And I know that a bunch of other people in this, in this community have gone through because they've expressed it to me. And uh, I really hope that I've shared some of the key mindsets that you need to take on in order to sort of get out of that place and start to really feel confident in who you are. I really hope you got a lot of value out of this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. 
drop your brand down there as well. I like to check out the brands that are watching. And if you haven't already, check out my free clothing brand marketing masterclass. All you have to do to get access is go to apparelsuccess.com slash masterclass. You can watch the whole thing for free. And if you've made it to this point in the video, I want to tell you about the closed Facebook group that we have with Apparel Success. There's a link in the description. Follow that link, join us in the group, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <music>